Hello everyone, welcome to GTC Season 1 Race 3 at Goodwood. I'm your commentator today, and there's no one with me today, so it'll just be me commentating on today's race. And we're going to go into our track, our la our track guide now in uh, our BMW M4 GT3. Coming down into the first corner is a long sweeping right-hander. Easy to go wide on it because on this track it is very tight between the corners. So you got to be careful not to go wide or to, or to end up cutting some of the grass. Coming down here into turn two, which is a slight flat turn two. And then turn three and four, top of the brakes on the way in. Let it coast through a bit, back on the gas to get back on the brakes for turn four. Coming down the hill, then back up the hill. Once you're above this hill, you want to start braking for turn five. And then you want to start accelerating again after you meet the apex of the corner and then into turn six. Down the back straight, which is not really straight, but with that, that little bend back there does not count as a turn. Neither do these two up here. So this would be turn six, I believe. And then turn seven. And then turn eight and nine. The final chicane, which is very tight wall, it's very easy to hit and mess up and go wide like that, but worse. And that is our track lap guide in our BMW, we'll take a look at the standings now. Drift King RC leads with 21 points, followed by Lucy with 16, Wolf with 7, Wolf is back this race. Sushi with 6, Dynasty with 5, and then in, for team settings, RG Labs with 27, and then DRC behind 1 point with 26. As we go to the grid. Lucy qualified in first place for today's race, followed up by Drift King, who has won the first two races and looking to make it three in a row, and then followed up by Sushi, who missed out on the first race but came for Brands Hatch and got a good finish. Wolf LP in fourth, which is returning after uh, missing Brands Hatch, and then Exoferno Lopez in fifth place. As we now go to the um, five red lights. We go to the five red lights. And we're underway at Goodwood. It's a pretty good start for the top three as Lucy's still holding the lead with Sushi now alongside Drift King and Wolf trying to take a look in the back there. Coming around turn one. Lucy holds the lead. Drift King's gonna stay in front of Sushi. Sushi slots behind everyone in a big just row. I should also mention that there are only five cars because at the time of recording this, the clocks went back earlier in Europe than um, than it, than it did uh, in um, North America. So not everyone from Europe showed up and the time was a little messed up. So apologies for that. It'll be fixed for next race in Monza. Coming around the back part of the track, Rush King still behind, Shift King still ahead of uh, Sushi and then behind Lucy in first place, trying to close in on the AMG. The AMGs are quick in a straight line, but so is that Lexus. Lex is going to try and take a look. Backs out of it. Sushi going wide and glitching himself off the track, apparently. Again, there are some connection issues still with this game. It is just the way it's going to be, so sorry for some of the sliding cars. So Sushi drops back after starting in third to make his way back up to the pack. Go on board with Inferno now, coming around turn one, to start the second lap. Oh, Drifting's off track. And comes back on to end up behind Sushi? Yep, behind Sushi. So, the lap is very short on this track. It's like a minute and ten seconds to a minute and eight seconds, depending on how fast the driver is. Coming around the back part of the track, see the car is coming through frame. Again, you don't want to make mistakes on this track because you lose a lot of time being the track so close. It's close to the grass and a lot of gravel pits as well. You don't want to make any mistakes. As here we go with Wolf back. Wolf actually, re Wolf returning for this race. So he is a little bit down on points. So a good points haul would help him, help him a lot through missing the first race. Or not the first race, the second race. So Lucy's starting to pull away from Inferno. As Inferno gets him into the grass, oh, he's actually spun it on the grass. And he's gonna drop all the way down to fifth and last place. A 
on board now with Sushi up in going into turn two and then three and four, the back part of the track, trying to close in on Wolf. It is an RG Labs 1-2 at the moment, which will not be good for DRC. And because the United didn't show up and only Drift King did, there'll be less points available for DRC racing today. And Drift King trying to close in actually on Sushi. Coming down the back straight. So coming down into the final ending of the lap. Sushi's trying to run from Drifting but trying to catch from trying to catch Wolf now in her head. As Wolf gets a little bit of shape off track. Come to the final bend to start lap four. As Lucy is now pulled probably a five or six second gap to Wolf and then a pack of three. So we come, we are on board with Wolf now, with Sushi behind and still drifting. And of course being tracked with mostly acceleration zones and long and some straights, fuel is going to be an issue for a couple of these cars coming on board with into the back part of the track. It looks like Sushi is closing on Wolf. Oh, definitely closing on Wolf. Wolf made a small mistake through that corner. Here comes Sushi now. 650S is pretty good in a straight line, but the AMG, I think, has more power. And here comes Alexis. Coming down into the back part of the track. It's going to be a three-way battle. Maybe going into the next lap. Come through the final chicane. This chicane is deadly if you hit that wall. Oh, um, Wolf got a little bit out of shape. Here comes Sushi. Sushi gonna get ahead into turn one. So some weird sliding stuff going on. Now Drift King's in this fight. Now let's see what he can do. Coming on the kink in turn two. Coming around to three and four in the back part of the track. So here they come. Drift King is right on Wolf, waiting to make the move whenever he can. So here he comes, he's gonna take a look to the inside. He's gonna back out of it, he's gonna stay in line. You do not wanna make mistakes on this track. This track will be a bad to you if you make mistakes. Coming around the back straight now. Oh, drifting, bobbing and weaving, trying to get, it, trying to find us, trying to find a hole. Is he gonna get it through here? Is he gonna go around the outside? Oh, he's gonna slot in behind again. Oh, but Wolf's actually off track. Is he gonna get in front? Yep, he got in front into the the, the chicane. As we hear the DBR9 just screaming through. Got him to start lap six now. Already on lap six, and we're only like six minutes in, so. Oh, Drifting's off track. It's gonna let Wolf back by again. Coming down the back straight again. Just trying to keep it all calm and collective. You mess up again, you go back so far, so you don't want to do that. Just gonna move around the back part of the track again. Your kick after that slight mistake is gonna try and catch back up. This pack of two now with um, Inferno now actually closing behind to this pack of three. As Lucy has pulled the gap already from the uh, lead cars. So here we go. The pack of three is starting to close up again. It's gonna be a pack of four soon because of Lopez closing behind. Sushi second. Um, Wolf third, and then Drift King in fourth, followed up by Inferno back there. And here comes Drift King again. Come around the first corner. Not gonna get a chance in the first corner. You're gonna have to do it into three and four. I don't think he's gonna be close enough into three and four. He might just slot back in behind. 
Yeah, he's not close enough through three and four. He's gonna stay behind. Maybe it's a six or seven. Coming around turn five. And turn six, he's gonna have to get a good run off of turn six. Oh, wait a sec, no, where is he? Oh, must have went off track and then and he's like, ends up getting hit by Lopez. As we get a very close up and personal shot of that Lexus. And now it drops back quite a bit. So now he has all that work to do again. So yeah, when you make mistakes like that, you just drop back so far. So you can't be making mistakes like that like crazy. So now we go on board with Sushi. Coming around lab 8, I believe this is. Just trying to keep it all going as fast as you can with the most maximum pace. I'm around three and four now. And into the back part of the track where uh, Wolf looks like he is closing in on Sushi here. Coming out of six. Come along the back straight here. Trying to drag race him down, but he's not going to be close enough into this corner. So we're going to take a look at our uh, start of the race now. We're on board with uh, Drift King for the start of the race. Looks like he gets a good start, but the AMG just has that lower acceleration and launch that the Lexus doesn't. And just sort of has to slot behind, no choice but to. And... Yeah, he's going to try and catch him up and straight. So now we're on board with Wolf for a good start here. Sushi actually gets a good start today compared to last week where he sort of bogged down off the start. Wolf not going side by side with Sushi and thinks better of it. It's the first lap on the first corner. You don't want to mess it up. So everyone's playing very safe and calm and collective through here. Now we're on board with our last place car, Lopez. He gets a wheel spin start and drops back quite a bit. Come through turn one because of the chaos and checkup. Everyone getting into a single line. He sort of catches back up. So he did not end up too far back after the start. So we go back to live coverage now with um, Wolf now going through the uh, start lap 10. He goes off track actually. Coming in. Oh. Oh, and he spun it on the grass. That's not going to be well for him. Now he has all that work to do again. As we see Drift King now actually closing in the background, but he's not going to get to him in time. Wolf's already going on the track. Coming to round three and four. After recovering from a spin, he has to now try and get all the much he can done. Coming to round the back straight now. As so we send the cars through here, and now we're on board with Lucy now coming through first corner, who has pulled away from everyone else that has been making mistakes. So Lucy running a clean and simple race ahead of Sushi here. Sushi also doesn't have like a lot of mistakes, so he's doing pretty well. Running consistent. As we hear the DBR9 go flying past. And now we're actually riding with the DBR9. Coming down to turn two here, just flat. And now we're on board with uh, Wolf, with Drift King just slightly behind. Looks like it's actually close from the last lap. We come running, to rounding three and four again with Wolf and then Drift King just slightly behind. Coming down into turn five. Wolf still trying to get away from Drift. It's a good launch out of turn six onto the back straight.
So the running here, trying to coming it, trying to coming up now to the uh, end of the lap, into the final chicane. The chicane is not nice on this track. That is 100% for sure. That chicane, if you hit it, it's not going to end well for you. Coming into lap 12 now, with uh, Lopez trying to pull away from the battling duo behind and while trying to catch Sushi and Lucy up in front. Lucy's really been putting in the lap times to pull away. Round through three and four and now coming up to turn five. So now we're going board with Lucy into the uh, 13th lap. Turn one. Just nice, clean, short downshift through the center of the corner there. Running down turn two and then three and four, which are somewhat easy to mess up if you make a mistake. Now he runs it clean. It could be a difficult section there. Going down into turn five. And then he gets the launch onto the back stretch out of turn six. We're gonna go back on board with Sushi now, coming through the section that Lucy just went through. Yeah, it takes it about the same. It's a little bit more sliding though, because the connection of this game is terrible at this moment. I don't know what's with all the issues with Gran Turismo 7, but hopefully Polyphony get it ironed out and we can actually have some good style of racing without lag. Go on board with Drift King now trying to close in on Wolf. Drift King dropped back quite a bit after winning the two races, first two races and now making a, a mistake on the beginning laps of this race and has dropped back quite a bit. Lap start lap 14. We should expect people to start coming in around lap 26 or so. So, 10 more laps or so, and we should start to see, expect to see some cars in the pits as Wolf goes off track again. Wolf is being a little inconsistent today with uh, some of his racing lines. But again, it's just you have to keep your head down and push. If you get in your own head, you're gonna make you're gonna start making more mistakes. to round the back part of the track where it's the most technical on this track it's not a very technical track but this is the most technical part of it turn three to six well actually maybe not turn three to six because maybe the final chicane is the most technical part because it's so, such a tight part of track and around into the final few turns of this lap. We go on board with Lopez now. Coming down to start lap 15 and then rounding turn one. Trying to keep it clean as it looks like Drift King and uh, Wolf are starting to close in on, on Lopez. I know I call him like Inferno or Lopez. It's the, he has two names in his one name, so I'll be probably call it, you'll know who I'm talking about if I say Inferno or Lopez. It's this Aston Martin DBR9, the 007 car. Coming to round turn five, then through turn six to get the launch. Here we go with the Drift King now, closing in. A little bit of a slide though out of turn five to get on the straight. the back straight with Wolf looks like he is slight slightly closing in because he has a higher top speed than the Lexus that's where the Lexus will struggle for uh, high speed dependent tracks as oh Inferno has spun it 
Oh, narrowly dodging those two cars. Oh, he's actually pitted, so maybe he's out of tire when he spun there. Just unlucky. Inferno's in. Let's take new tires. New tires and fuel. That's what you need. Taking quite a bit of fuel, actually. See how long that sends him into the race. Don't think he'll be able to get to the end, but we'll see. As he comes back out another set of softs, with Lucy lapping him. It's such a short, short lap. In round turn one, with Lucy still leading, followed by Sushi. And now Drift King, because uh, Inferno just pitted. This looks like Drift King has now actually pulled away a bit from Wolf with uh, some pace. Lucy's the holder of our current fast lap, so Lucy will get one point as it stands right now. Make around turn one. Just trying to keep it clean no matter what. We've already seen a couple times in this race, you mess up, you go drop back so far. Now go on board with Sushi. As Lucy and Inferno. Inferno's trying to get the draft, I guess, from Lucy on those fresh set of tires to pull away from Drift King and, uh, and Wolf. Turning lap 18 now. On around turn one. Inferno looks like he's dropped back a little bit from the draft. But he's still trying to chase down Lucy for that draft so he can, so he can pull him along the track. Come through the back section now. And then up to turn five and then turn six onto the back straight. That DBR9 you can hear like from a mile away. So now we go on board with uh, Sushi coming through three and four. It took me a second to realize where we were on track. And then up to turn five and then turn six onto the back straight. So he's probably 12, 13 seconds behind Lucy right now. Running down the back straight as Coming up to the final section of the track, just trying to keep, keep up with Lucy and not to drop behind and make mistakes, like we've seen already a couple of cars do today. For some reason, Sushi is always sliding along the track. We don't know why that's happening. It's just the way this game is working right now. I don't understand why it's so bad with internet connections as we're coming through the the uh, final chicane with Drift King and Wolf. Wolf looks like he's actually dropped back quite a bit from Drift. Now go back on board with Inferno. Looks like he was keeping pace with Lucy. Either this tire's doing something for him or Lucy's tires are going. Or a combination of both. Could be a combination of both. Oh, Wolf. he's trying to make the pass. Trying to make the pass on the leader. Just get blue flagged again. I think Lucy's tires are going. He's gonna need to pit soon. Coming around. Yeah, Lucy gets uh, passed by Inferno. I guess Lucy wants some draft or something. On lap 19, but it's actually lap 20 as we're looking, viewing this race from Inferno right now. Lucy's actually on lap 20, not lap 19. Coming around the back part of the track. Trying to keep it clean. And then turn five through turn six. As Wolf is coming into the pits, 
fuel and tires as always. Filling it all the way up. I'm gonna try and make it to the end if possible. Even though you have to be stopped for a couple longer seconds, that's fine. You can hear the DBR9 closing in the background. Will Wolf get ahead of Inferno? No, he won't. Even come up behind Lucy. So he's not going to get draft from those two. He is way too far back after coming out of the pits. Going board with Sushi now. Coming through turn one, that is, and he's actually gone off track a bit. A bit, I say a bit, he was off track for quite a while there. But didn't really spin. If you spin, you lose a lot more time, so probably a good thing he didn't spin. Coming to round turn two now, and then into three and four. And Sushi now just trying to keep pace. Drifting actually looks like he has closed a bit to uh, Sushi now, so we'll see how we'll see how close they these two get into the closing stage of the race. These two these two still need to stop, I believe. So, and I think Lucy hasn't stopped. So I think only Wolf and and Inferno have stopped. I think that's the only two cars that have stopped. The other three are still need to stop. He has Inferno's pulling away from Lucy now, so those tires must be getting old. Setting purple for sectors, so... As actually Sushi has decided it is time for a new set of tires and fuel. Sushi has a different livery for today's race. He is, he's actually changed it up quite a bit. He wanted more sponsors on his car, so he changed it up. And this is what he will run for the foreseeable future for now. Still running Team Spider this season. He is the only Team Spider car here in this race. So, trying to get some points for Team Spider. He comes out ahead of Inferno. Out of the pit. Drifting has not stopped. So the only two cars left are Lucy and right as I was saying that. The only, two car, the only car that's left now to stop is Drift King. Lucy is now in the pits. Tires and fuel, and yep, tires and fuel. Jeff might even get in, might even get in front of uh, Lucy here before the pit stop. Let's see here, here comes Drift as Lucy's coming out the pit. Well, it's gonna be close. Nope, Drift King's gonna get ahead. But again, Drift King is still to pit. So we'll see how this goes. Coming around turn two now. Lucy closing on Drift King. Drift King on old tires. He's been on this set of tires since the start of the race. He has not stopped in this race yet. Coming to round into turn five and then up to six on this to the back straight. Oh, drift a little sideways. Here comes Lucy now around the outside. Try to get the launch down the back straight. He's going to slot back in line for the draft. Here comes Lucy with the power of the AMG. He's not going to get ahead of the RCF at this time. He's going to slot behind into the chicane where it's very hard to make a move. It is doable. We have seen it, but it's not easy. Drifkin still out of the pits. He's not stopped yet, so I guess this is just a pure strategic play to hold up Lucy, maybe. Oh, Lucy's off track and wide. Got a bit of the grass and backwards. The worst thing that could happen to you. Oh no. So that'll give Drift King some breathing space. 
before uh, he catch, catches back up. That's the first mistake we've seen from from Lucy this uh, this entire race, I think. I don't think I've seen a mistake from Lucy except that one. As Drift King gets maybe a 10 to 12 second lead from the uh, beginning of uh, the spin. As we're looking at Suchi now coming around into the back part of the track. Up to turn five. And coming around to turn six to get the launch back up the straight. As now Drift King has actually decided to pit. He has decided it is time for a new set of tires and fuel. He definitely will not get ahead of Lucy because yeah, Lucy's already ahead after he's done changing tires. He still needs fuel. Taking a lot of fuel, going to try and fuel to the end of the race. Because we are just past halfway point in this race, so he should be able to make it to the end of the race on fuel alone. Tires might be a different story, but we'll see. As he gets out behind behind Lopez and in front of Wolf. Coming down into the straight, into the turn two. Then rounding into turn three and four. With a screaming DBR9 right in front. We'll see how close, how fast Drifting will close on, on Inferno. Inferno's been on those set of tires for a while, so we'll see how it goes. With a little bit of off-roading there. Coming down the back straight into the final complex of the track. Comes along here to the back into the final chicane. Oh, he's gone off track, actually. Be careful coming out back on. Oh, he's bounced off the wall, too. That's going to slow him up and let Drift King catch up even more compared to what it was before at the time. Look okay, like Lopez is now struggling with the car now, trying to keep it going in a straight line. Coming down into turn three and four. Drift King right behind Lopez now. Coming up to turn five. He's going to make a move here. No, he's not. He's going to stay behind. As Lopez gets a little bit out of shape on the curb, it makes a slight mistake. And let's Drift King by. It's all about being mistake free and when you make mistakes like that, that's what happens sometimes. As now we go back on board with Sushi, come to start lap 27 of the race. Definitely past halfway point now for sure. As Inferno is back in for another set. I guess of tires, I guess. I guess he's, his tires have given up. I don't think the two-stop strategy was a, a strat here, but expecting all one-stops from most of, this, most of the cars, but it's not. Or he's out of fuel. You know, he's out of fuel to make it to the end. And damage, actually. He has damage to fix, too. That's why he probably fitted. Comes back out quite a ways behind and Wolf. All right, we're going to go quiet for a couple of laps and uh, let the engines speak for themselves.
Alright, we are back after having the small silent break to hear some of these cars go by past on track. So now we go back to where we were. Um, Lucy is still leading, followed by Sushi, and then Drift King, RC behind, then Wolf, and then Inferno after making another stop. Relax Lucy now coming along the back straight into the final, final end part of the track here. And then into the final chicane. Start the next lap of this race. And then around it to turn one. Everyone's sort of in their own little bubble right now. So we're commentating on each car. I'll be commentating on each car as they appear on screen. Coming down into turn two. Yep, turn two, and then three and four. I lost where we were on track for a second, so I look away from the screen. As now we go on board with Sushi. Coming along into three and four now. The, the color shift uh, 650S, which is a good looking car. It's a nice design that he, design change that he made to it. And now we hear Drift King's car coming up in the background, so he is closing on Sushi here. So we'll see how how this little battle comes comes out. And he's now within probably seven seconds of Sushi, so it should be a good little fight coming into the final end part of the race. Drifting slowly closing on Sushi, coming up into the final chicane. A little bit on the grass because the curb is so small on that outside, you really can't take advantage of that curb, really. She now go back on board with uh, Wolf, coming along the back straight with Inferno behind him. Going along into the final section of the track. A little off track again. Wolf's done that a couple of times already where he's gone off track right before the final chicane. Just carrying a little bit too much speed and you go off track there. So let me look at Lopez back here. Trying to catch up with the other cars as Lopez actually goes off track. Trying to catch back up with uh, Wolf, but he gets back on track without spinning. Spinning is the worst possible thing you can do on, such, on a high-speed track like this. Coming around to three and four now. With Lucy closing behind again to lap, to lap Inferno. around, get the launcher back on the back straight, out of turn six, with Lucy still closing in behind. So Lucy's tires must still be good. Lap 33 of 43, 10 laps to go. 
Lucy leads, followed by Sushi, then Drift. So we are with Drift King slowly closing in on Sushi. You can slowly get to see that RTF closing in in the background, lap after lap. Going around into the final section of the track. We look back at Lucy, who has actually now got in front of Lopez. Coming around into turn three and four. We'll have to see where all the other cars finish here. Here comes Sushi now, with Drift King closing behind, coming into three and four. Well, drifting goes a little wide off track. Did not spin though. That's the main thing. You spin, you drop back even further. But he's probably only lost maybe two and a half seconds. He has to now claw that back where he can. Coming around into the back straight. Now look at Sushi coming along the back straight here. To the final complex part of the track. You see how much of a gap there is now after that mistake from drifting. Wrong to start lap 35. He has pulled quite a bit as we now go on board with Wolf. Into for turn five and then turn six, then the launch up the back straight. Who has actually made a mistake? He's gone off track again. He's now getting blue flagged by Lucy. Here comes here comes Inferno now to battle with with Wolf now. See how this goes. So Inferno's now closing in on Wolf now. He's getting very close now. We'll see what happens here. As Lucy's actually taking another set of tires it looks like. Lucy's got the space, so he's trying to secure fastest lap, I guess. Comes back out in the lead. Because he did not take fuel. He's good on fuel. He took tires only. So here we go back on board with Sushi. The Drift King still closing behind after that slight mistake. See how this goes. down it's a turn two and then three and four Let's see how much drifting will gain here if you can sushi actually actually went onto the medium tire for this race just to play it safe I guess drifting went on another set of softs for his stop the launch out of turn six drifting is looking pretty close to sushi now down the back straight. Try to get all the power down as possible. And then into the final complex. Drifting is looking very close within two car lengths now. He's right on the back bumper to the 650 now. After the final chicane, does he have a run? He does not have a run. As we're coming into the closing stage of this race, we got a fight starting to form. Round turn one, Sushi stays ahead, but Drifting has the draft coming up the long straight end and into this, the flat out turn two. I'm gonna run it down to turn three and four now. Oh, as Wolf has gone off track again, it looks like, and has let Inferno pass. Now go back to this battle. With Sushi trying to stay ahead of Drift King. We're drifting, getting a little out of shape there on the back, out of turn uh, five there, sending himself up the back straight. We'll see how close drifting can get to sushi here. 
He's still got a good little gap, so this fight could literally come down to the wire here. As Wolf is now in the pits. We're going to keep it on this battle. So that ends that battle between Inferno and Wolf. With Wolf in the pits. So here they come now. Start lap 38. Griffin getting very close to Sushi now. We'll see how they go coming up to Kink into turn two. And then three and four. Sushi trying to stay in front of Drift. Here comes Drift though. Sushi stays ahead in three and four. It'll be up to turn five who breaks latest. Sushi stays ahead, followed by Drift King still very close behind. And launch himself out of turn six up the back straight. The 650 isn't slow in the, in the straight line though. It's got some good speed, the 650. Normally the 650 is a pretty slow car in the straight line, but I guess not today. As this is getting a very close battle. And we have some for some reason lost wolf we do not know where he is on track he is still racing his car just turned invisible and it shows he's in the pit lane where his car is which is a little odd it's some glitch Gran Turismo has at the moment so we have no clue where wolf is we'll know where he is when we see the end result here comes drift kick now trying to catch it back up trying to catch up to sushi sushi put up a good fight for mediums because they round three and four. You're getting looking very close than that closer than he was last lap. He's gonna make a lunge into turn five. Oh, he makes a lunge two by two up turn five. Coming around to round turn six up the back straight. It's gonna be a drag race up the back straight. It's still side by side coming around the kink and back straight. But Drift King's now actually got ahead of Sushi. But here comes Sushi again. Sushi looking up the inside of Drift. Oh, but Drift goes wide off track and lets Sushi back past. Coming into the back part of the track, into the final chicane. Drift, Drift now has work, has that work to do again because he made another because he made a mistake coming past uh, Sushi there. Until lap 40, only three laps left. This is getting very close between these two drivers. Coming to round turn two. And then three and four. McLaren versus Lexus. Three laps to go. Coming up into turn five now. Drifting is not close enough. He's gonna have to get the draft and the launch out of turn six to launch himself up this back straight now. See what he can do on this back straight. Try to with the draft behind Sushi. See what he can do. He's still too far back. He's going to stay behind. With Sushi still in front. As this battle, it looks like he's getting close. As as we saw in that shot there, clouds are starting to form. Could there be a little bit of rain at the end part of this race? I don't know. We'll see. Two laps left. Drift King still rapidly closing on Sushi. It's a round turn one. Drifting's got the draft behind Sushi. Is he gonna make a move into turn three and four? It doesn't look like he's close enough. He's not gonna make a move into three and four. They round turn three and four. But Drifting's still behind Sushi here. He's been behind Sushi for like the past six laps now. Oh, it's getting close now. Coming down to the final wire, you gotta make a move at some point. Coming around turn six. Looks like he's got a good run out of turn six onto the back straight. He's got the draft behind Sushi too. Is he gonna make a lunge? Thinks better if it stays behind. And running into the back chicane.
two laps to go. Let's see what let's see what goes on here. As it is now actually getting very dark on track. Some gray clouds up there, so we'll see what happens at the end of this race. Might get a little spots of rain on the final part of the track. Let's see, they come to round turn three. And then through turn four. Then back up the hill to turn five. Drift King still looking like a little bit further behind Sushi. Oh, Drift King gets very out of shape there. Out of turn five. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt him up the straight now. Come down the back straight into the final complex part of the track. And there's some pretty dark clouds up there. In the sky, so we'll see what happens here at the end of the race. We think the rain will hold off for now, though, because there's only one lap left now. As here we go. Lucy has actually took the final lap, but this is now the final lap of the race. We'll see how this goes here. Coming to round turn one. And, and Sushi's off track, actually. Sushi went off track on turn one. He went wide. And it looks like Drift King has, Drift King has actually slipped past. And Drift King all has to do is hold second place for another half a lap. And he will get second place. He's already pulled quite a bit because of that mistake from Sushi. But now we go on board with Lucy who has, who has been leading the entire race. Except for, maybe, except for one lap that Drift King led but he didn't pit. So Lucy's going to win at Goodwood. And get fast slap. 11 points going to Lucy now. As Lucy is going to win the race. With fastest lap. Unless someone else here at the back can do something. Here comes Drift King now. To finish the race. In second place. Ahead of Sushi. After that last lap mistake by Sushi. He is not going to get fastest lap. Sushi is not going to get fastest lap either. As Inferno is going to finish 4th, and Wolf, we assume, is going to finish 5th. We have no clue where he is at the moment on track. As, as uh, Inferno is rounding the final, the, rounding out of turn 6 to finish off his race here. And there we go. Uh, so, Wolf has now finished the race. So, Wolf will finish fifth. And the Inferno is rounding to finish off the final part of the, the lap. He will come home to finish on the lead lap after going a lap down. And there it is there. Here's, here's our race winner. Lucy is going to win his first race in GTEC at Goodwood. So congratulations to Lucy and a good fight from Drift King and, Su and Sushi behind. And now we take a look at the uh, full standings here for the race finish. Lucy's gonna win, Lucy has won the race and then is followed by Drift King, then Sushi, then Lopez, and then Wolf at the back uh, one lap down. As we now take a look at our new standings, Drift King leads with 29 points. Lucy very close behind with 27. Sushi gets 12 for this race. Wolf is at Wolf is at 10 points. The nice and no one else showed up. RG Labs has, leads with 37. DRC is behind with 34. Team Spider with 13. And Sir Special has gone ahead with 7. That's the end of the race. Thanks for watching.